Hey, what's going on guys? So I've released my Bootstrap 5 from scratch course on traversymedia.com as well as on Udemy. It's a 13 hour course. We go through some sandbox sections and learn all about the classes and utilities, JavaScript components, and then we do five big projects with uh, a custom SaaS workflow using NPM and all that. So there's a, pr a promo code in the description for just $10. But before I get into the projects of the course, I just want to talk a little bit about why Bootstrap. Why did I decide to make a course on Bootstrap, which is something that, you know, has been around a while. It's not the most trendy thing. Um, and I think that some people are under the impression that Bootstrap is dead and that nobody's using it. And I think the reason for that is because it's, like I said, it's been around a while. It's not what the cool kids are, are talking about. And when I say cool kids, I mean influencers and people on social media. I think that Tailwind has become more popular in that way. However, when you're talking about the real world, it's quite different. And Bootstrap is still being used everywhere, whether you're talking about the, the enterprise level and really large companies down to freelancers and agencies. You know, I talk to a lot of people online that are in the industry and a lot of them are using Bootstrap. And I, I see this with a lot of, of different technologies. What you see on social media is usually the, the hip and new frameworks and technologies. However, it can be misleading because when you can compare it to what, what is actually being used, um, it's, not, it's not the same thing. You know, if you look at web dev Twitter, it's all JavaScript. There might be a little bit of Python thrown in there. Um, but there is, I don't see a huge community for like Golang or ASP.NET or Java, um, you know, and, and things like that. And those are some of the biggest companies in the world are using this stuff. So what I would suggest doing is instead of following trends, look at the job listings in your area. This will give you a much better idea as to what is actually being used and what you can get hired for. Now, if you're freelancing, then you, you want you want to learn tools that allow you to build things really fast, especially if, if you're on your own. You know, freelancers don't care about trends. They care about turnaround time. And that's why WordPress is still really popular in the freelance world. You know, I see way too many people listening to influencers, and that includes myself. You know, don't take what I say with a grain of salt. You should definitely use multiple resources. Um, don't put too much value onto what other people say um, you know, over what you think is going to help you build what you want and, and get you to where you need to be. Uh, when I was freelancing years ago, I, I was using Joomla for a lot of projects. And I'm sure that a lot of you don't even know what that is. It's a, it's a content management system, PHP based like WordPress. And back then WordPress was huge, but I used Joomla because it was really efficient for me. It was efficient to, to get things done uh, quickly and my clients were more than happy with my work you know clients clients don't care what you use as long as you can build what they ask and as long as it does what it's supposed to do um, so this goes back to my original question of why bootstrap and the reason is because it's a very efficient thing to learn uh, and use in your career no matter if you're going to work at a company or freelance you know you can build websites and uis much faster and my main goal is to give you skills that will translate to your success. My goal is not to just talk about the latest hip trends and, and do the news, the web dev news. Um, there's thousands of other people that, that do that. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of put that out there because I think it's really important, especially for beginners, to know that there's a disconnect between uh, trendy technologies and what will get you hired or what will help you build what you need to in an efficient way. All right, so now we'll jump in and we'll take a quick look at the main projects of the course. All right, guys, so like I said, the course is available at traversymedia.com as well as Udemy. Um, the difference is with traversymedia.com, you're going to get all the, the documentation. So as you can see right here, there's a, a section called Premium Docs. So that's a written, basically a written document for every single video with all the code samples and all that. You also get access to our Discord community. All right, so I would prefer if you get it on traversymedia.com, but if you like Udemy and you like the, you know, the whole layout better, then that's fine too. The same code is going to work for both websites, and that's Bootstrap 5 Day. 
So as far as the, the projects go, we're going to be creating a boilerplate or a starter template for, so that we can build these projects and we can customize Bootstrap. So as you can see, we have a package.json here and we're going to install Bootstrap with NPM. We install SAS and also Font Awesome. And then the way that this works is we can run NPM run SAS build and it will look at our SAS files here and compile it to CSS. And anything we want to customize, we can just go into the Bootstrap CSS and just add any variables or overwrite the variables that are in the Bootstrap SAS file. All right, so we're going to take a very quick look at the projects, and I just want to give a shout out to htmlrev.com. It's a theme site, and they gave us permission to use some layouts and, and gave us the assets for these designs. So just want to give them a shout out, and that's four of the five websites. The other one was provided by styleshout.com. So this is an ebook website for a, 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 an ebook called Blog Mastery, but obviously you could call it, you know, it could be any kind of ebook or any kind of product. So the navigation bar for the five websites, we're going to add this effect where it's transparent at the top, but as soon as we scroll down, you get a background effect. So we will be writing a little bit of JavaScript here and there. And this is customized, so the purple, that's the primary color where we were able to do that because we use SAS. So we have this header area with a form. We're using an SVG for the wave effect. Icons are all from Font Awesome. Uh, we implemented a, a modal here, so we will be using the JavaScript components. Testimonials area, then we have this uh, another form and some social media icons and a footer. So very simple, but very clean. There's also a contact page, and what we're going to do with this project is deploy it to Vercel at the end. And then we're going to use a, a service called Form Spree to make the contact form work. So instead of just showing you how to build it, I want to show you how to deploy it and make the form work. And of course, all the projects are responsive. So if we go ahead and open up the device toolbar here, you can see that everything looks good and everything stacks on, uh, you know, on small screens, modal opens. Okay, so everything is, is completely responsive. Next, we have the Corso training website. So this is for like training videos or seminar videos. We have the background with the, with the overlay. We will be doing quite a bit of custom CSS. So it's not just bootstrap that it will be learning and doing. So we have the nav bar effect here as well. We're using the JavaScript carousel for the images. We have this uh, registration area, some text clean looking text areas, another image overlay, some cards with some stacked font, awesome icons, a form and footer. So pretty, this project is pretty simple, but I think it looks pretty good. Uh, the third project is a portfolio website and we're going to deploy this one to Netlify and we're also going to make the contact form work because Netlify has uh, a form submission functionality. So if I reload this, you'll see that the, the text here actually types out and obviously you can change it and put your own name in but that's just that's going to be from a little bit of custom javascript that we write and this is not a javascript course but some of the projects will have just a little bit of javascript it's okay if you if you're you know if you don't know any javascript at all because i'm going to go through and let you know exactly what's happening all right so then we have the social media icons this about section here obviously you would change this information this is just my own personal stuff profile. We have the progress bars. I know that these are kind of like a joke. You, you probably don't want to use these in a real portfolio, uh, but it, it, I think they look good. And it also gave us a reason to use progress bars, but the logic just doesn't make sense. What's 90% of JavaScript? So down here we have the portfolio items. And here we're not using J uh, bootstrap modals. We're using a third party script called Lightbox which actually allows us to open up an image and then scroll through them, which is nice if someone wants to see all of your portfolio items. So we will be using a few third-party scripts. Um, shout out to Style Shout. They're the theme service that provided the assets and layout for this. And then we have our services, just some stats, and then the contact form, which we will make work by using Netlify. Then we have Yavin, which is an, uh, a business for creating office spaces. We'll be positioning some background images here in the header. And if I reload, you'll see that these will count up. So that's uh, another bit of JavaScript that we'll be writing. And then we're using some 
uh, this isn't modals, this is a separate page. So we have an inner page for articles or whatever. Um, and then let's see, we have our services, our icons down here, some projects. And then we're using the carousel to create this testimonial slider. Simple form, footer. All right. And then for the last one is, is called Vera. It's a software solutions website. And we're using a third party script called Replace Me to switch these words or rotate these words every, every second or so, a couple seconds. All right. We'll be positioning these SVGs throughout the site on the left and the right here. Um, lots of custom CSS in this project. We have some cards with some images and badges. We have um, some font awesome icons. Here is a video area where we're going to create this animated button using custom CSS. And we're going to add a little bit of JavaScript so that we can open a video, a YouTube video in a modal. And we have some pricing cards. We have some projects with a nice looking modal for each one. And then we just have a form and footer. All right, so those are the five main projects. To start the course off, though, we're going to be using the sandbox, similar to what we did in the Bootstrap 4 course, where we really examine all the classes and utilities and all that. And we'll also do some mini projects that I set up as challenges for, for you guys to do on your own. All right, so that's it. If you're interested, links in the description, $10 promo codes in the description. And that's it. Thanks for watching.